Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Return of the Nightmare, Multi Championship 2, brought to you by Peace Boxing, Gladbrand Channel, and all aspects during this now tonight. We have a step 17 fight card with 15 amateurs and two professional fights with our headlining belt. The rematch between undefeated Mia the Nightmare Motu, taking on Michaela the Hurricane Jenkins. Now, also featuring as the co main event and first professional fight of the night, we have Jesse the Maniac Mayo out of Peace Box and taking on Ethan and Drell, who fights out of Roomline Combat Academy. Now, calling the action tonight, we have myself, Chop Chop Chad Mills, and with the undefeated Cruiserweight professional, David the Great White Light, 17 0, 10 3 0s, ranked number 4 by the WBO, also to be here tonight. How have you enjoyed the action so far? So far. <laughs> Talking to me? Sorry. <laughs> yes, Dave. Yeah, that was your cue. A little bit of headphone. <laughs> yeah, great. No, our fight so far. Very good. It's been a great night of boxing. Yes, you did hear me then. <laughs> <laughs> As Dale Husband just introduced, fighting out of the blue corner, out of Sydney kickboxing, coached by Doug Mighty, fighting his son, Roman Mighty, out of the fame Sydney kickboxing, housing some very well known fighters in the UFC. Now he's taking on out of the red corner, fighting out of Charlotte Lopez boxing, Lewis Blondo. Coached by Nick the Greek Charlopas, professional cruiserweights. Now this is a youth 81 kilo bout at a light heavyweight. It is for over three two-minute rounds. Well, all of Nick's guys seem to be pretty well trained. I mean, they seem to be all pretty tidy. So I've got great big players, know how to repeat themselves, know how to be aggressive. But we know this famous CKB boxing gym, they've got a lot of resources at hand, a lot of sparring. Yeah, this is a very, very busy gym. Lots of fighters across different codes. So of course they will have a lot of different sparring partners and variety of sparring partners. Fighting out of Charlotte's boxing. In the red and white, could you welcome to the ring, please, for fight number nine on our card? This is Lewis Ronaldo! There's a fighter to the blue corner, fighting the blue, white, with the red in here today. He went in today at 74.3 pounds. This is Roman Vinnie! CKB always brings a loud crowd too. Yeah, lots of supporters. Our boxers are about to receive their final instructions before that first round goes. Bit of a little bit going on about the headgears. I, I think what's happened is that. Roman in the blue corner has a rival headgear, which is not either approved. So if we're going to change over to the stick headgear, which is approved by either, that is the world governing body for amateur boxing. They so utilize it. That's quite a surprise too, Chop Chop, because Iber doesn't seem to have much sway in terms of the Olympic style boxing anymore. As the Olympic boxing has been taken over by the IOC, is it? I guess it's just what's well, what's what's been culture. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on these days? But but hey, those have been the rules in the last in the recent few years. So let's just play by those rules. Well, the bell goes for the first round. As I remember, it used to be the Green Hill was um, banned back in my day. And uh, if you're wearing a Green Hill 
head guard or boxing gloves at all in the ring, they would make you stop and change it all out. But Greenhill seems to ma has made its way back into the good book. Yeah, yeah. From memory, I think one of the last Ivory World Championships, they were using Greenhill equipment one of the last recent years. And as we talk about that, Roman Viney has landed a few beautiful punches against his man in red. But quite, late, quite a measured start from both lads. Nice sharp jab from Roman. Pot shotting well from range. And Lewis explodes. Trying to make his mark on the fight. Really sharp shots there from Roman. Picking his punches well. A few little feints there to draw his man in. He jumps in. Three quick shots. Well placed right hand. Really well placed punches there from Roman. And he knows his range quite well also. When he throws, he always seems to meet his opponent. You know? He doesn't fall short with his shots. So he knows his distance. And, and he's got good distance. He's got good extension on his arms. That's it. He really catches his opponent right at the end of his shots. Right, nice, right well-placed shots. Really throwing with efficiency as well. You know, he's not wasting any punches. Not and he's starting any to relax movement. a little bit more. He was quite, quite tense coming in, but now that he's relaxed, he's just landing those shots quite easily. Beautiful round from Roman. Yeah, beautiful round from Roman in the blue corner. We've got the father-son combination there. Like Viney is dead, giving him instructions. But yeah, really nice, really nice composed round one. A bit, of a, a bit of a smile there from Doug. Happy with the work his son's been doing in this opening round. Just a moment there when, when Lewis sort of exploded with a barrage of punches. But besides that, he really, really got too much off that round. He just kept that day by the long, accurate... Stiff shots as well from Roman. He landed well. Very well measured. So what what do you think the man in red can do? What do you think he can do? The Greek. So what kind of instructions do you think he's given his man? I think it's the same instructions we've seen everyone who's clearly gone down in the first round. You know, you gotta get out there and you gotta treat this round like it's the round. Well, both the, both those last two rounds are going to be the round, aren't they? He's, he's, and, and he's come out with a lot more urgency in this round. But you don't need to think about the third round if you've lost the first. Yeah, yeah. You just take, think about that second take round. Take it one at a time. Mm. See, Lewis, he, he can't be sitting there measuring like he is, but he's got to go at his man. Sort of when he waits and measures, it just allows Roman to just pop his sharp shots off. He needs to be doing more of that kind of work. Yeah, and it seems the dangerous, most dangerous place to be in the ring with Roman is just at that little bit, just on the end of his reach there. Yeah, where he's just beyond middle distance. Exactly. And there we go. As he stepped in, he caught a left hook, right hand combination that landed nicely. He needs to take his distance away so he can't use those long, long arms to land a sharp. So then, Sniper and, punches. And what, what I've seen is there was two times when Lewis kind of asserted it himself. And, and when he did let his hands go, Roman kind of did look a little bit flustered, you know, with the volume of punches. So he's got to do that. When he sits here and does the circles around, pause shots and waits, Roman just picks him off. You know, he's not, he, he, as we said, he's very efficient. He doesn't waste any shots. He's measured. And, you know, that's exactly where he wants to be, just like that. Mm. When he wants to, he just lets those sharp shots off. Exactly, and he's running out of time now, Lewis. He's, he's really wasting a lot of time trying to pin his man down. He needs to just go at him. He needs he needs this round, obviously. We said it before, but... Yeah, so he's just sort of falling around. Very much urgency lacking. Yeah, that's a just fainting, but nothing behind those little feints. He's kind of just pouring those shots. I don't want to really call them feints. He's just pouring his left hand out. And then Roman's just obliging him, bang, and just shooting those jabs and right hands. So I think that's an easy two rounds to the man in blue. I like 
we said, if you lose that second round, which is supposed to be like the round, average to the third round, David, it looks like you're two rounds down. What do you think he's saying now? Knockout? <laughs> you got to go for the knockout, right? Yeah, it does seem like that would be the the instruction. Nick Charolympus in the corner is urging his man to do something. Obviously, we can't hear, but he's telling him to get rough, it looks like. You can see the body language of Nick. He's sort of throwing his shoulders around. he needs a stoppage, it would seem, at this point. He's giving him a serious talking to in the corner. You've got to go out there and take this. He's showing a few little shots here, dropping his shoulder. Sort of take away that space. Roman is using really well behind those two yeah. shots. Just pot shotting beautifully mm. this fight. They go up, they touch gloves there. Yeah, that's he's probably got a bit of a rock up. He's got to go in his men. Kind of look like those, he's, he's doing what his coach told him. Is next, is get inside and, and smother a space. But he's got to throw shots in there too. You know, he can't just walk in and can't just walk in there and clinch him. That's it. He's got to to throw those punches let his hands go but he can't let himself get too close in the process he ends up just that's just it. being able to grab and not being able to throw you know he, he's got to get inside and throw but he's getting inside and he's spoiling his own distance so he's doing the work to get inside but then he's not getting the rewards yeah. here we go back to the story of the fight roman at range popping those long shots Clean, accurate punches. And also, again, just following around, just pouring those shots off. Eats a right hand on the way in. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the pour out jab. It Neither seems am to I. just give away your distance to your opponent, saying, "Here, this is exactly how far away." You're in striking distance now. You know, and it's 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 kind of like a feint, but it's kind of like a bad lie. You know, it's like I'm trying to fend at you, but it's really not convincing. People can use it well. They can use it to their advantage and, and suck their opponent into thinking that they're in a kind of routine. But I think that's the story of the fight. He but has it's been very doing hard that. to execute. Yeah. yeah, and he's been doing that, and, and through the whole fight, Roman's just been ignoring that and just going bang, snapping his shots mm. off, which is continuing in this third round. Lewis is running out of time. He's running out of time. If he was going to try get the knockout, he really needs to assert himself. But I just don't, I just don't see the energy like he's, you know, he's going for that stoppage win. Lands the right hand there. But maybe a little bit too late. You can see on his face, his face of disappointment happening from his performance. I think he knows what the decision will be. In the corner, there's a crowd on their feet. Looks like some supporters of CKB. Father and son embrace in the corner, in the blue corner. Sure of their victory in that fight. And it would be a really nice clinical performance there from Roman. You know, he, he barely wasted any punches. He landed all the shots, he had great distance, he stayed in the center of the ring, he was patient, he just landed good shots, he was a really good showcase of boxing there. Well, as always, we pay respect to the guys here in the ring, and we want to give him, please, your warm applause and appreciation for those who are down on the building. Now we go to the corner, the or go to the center to, to make it official. Victory and the winner from the blue corner. There you go, Roman takes the win. Dale Husband making it official. Good showcasing of, of boxing there from the man in blue, Dave. Give me your little uh, give your thoughts on the fight. Yeah, 